why permafucus? We're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with at the moment using the Lover's Oracle, which doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be a love reading, um, but if it, that's how it applies for you, then it does. Okay, we're using Mystical Wisdom and Light Seer's Tarot. Alrighty, let's get into it here. A fucus. Okay, so three cards for a fucus, please. If this um, reading doesn't resonate for you, fucus, check out your other birth plate, your other birth chart placements. And that one has gone flying. There we go. Okay, let me pick this one up. Okay, so first card out here is this card here, and it says, Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are, and your relationship will magically transform. I feel like, too, that it's a matter of healing from any past hurts, if there's any as well. Like, um, yes, you know, we are responsible for healing that hurt no matter how it's been caused or who has caused it um so sometimes we can continuously punish another person um in an indirect way because of something that has happened in the past so this i feel is important to look at okay so the next card out here is imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life and the last card here beautiful hey i love this one reflection give each other some space at the moment trust and have faith that all will work out for the best interesting if you kiss okay so two cards for this card here this first card for a few kiss please criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness Love and accept each other as you are, and your relationship will magically transform. Okay, so the first card here is choices. Make the best choices. Sometimes it's actually best to not say anything at all. Like really be aware of what is coming out your mouth, okay? This is very interesting because... Again, a fucus, like I said at the beginning, if this is not to do with a um, a love relationship, this could actually be to do with criticizing yourself, okay, or others around you, be it at work, um, you know, it could be friends, it could be just, just be mindful of what, and really hear yourself. Listen, sometimes what can really help is you actually record yourself in conversation. I did that with my cousin a while ago just you know we did it as a bit of a joke and we listened back and we heard ourselves in a different light that we had never heard ourselves before and um yeah it was really interesting to reflect even though it was a fun conversation it's like wow you know yeah so this is something that you could potentially do okay so two cards for choices please for a few kids two cards for choices i've got this bit of here, here, it's really annoying me in the camera. Sorry, just grooming myself. Anyway, okay, so choices for a few kiss. Two cards here, please. See, look at that, a few kiss. Criticizing myself because of a, a bit of here, whatever. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, so is this one card? Yep, one more card for a few kiss, please. For choices. No, not, not. 100 million please one one there wow okay it's still throwing out three more i feel like i have to take them wow okay 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 yeah mm, yeah see there's this hurt here there's something that someone's done. But you know what? This could be this thoughts, right? These thoughts like, I know that in the past, what's happened for me sometimes if, is I've gone to say something to someone, right? And it's been in my head, just say it like this, you know, like, oh, what's an example? Um, 
oh, I haven't even got, I can't even think of an example, but it's like, you know, just say it really nicely, say it really nicely, and it comes out like that, <laughs> you know, and so, you know, this could be something that you could be aware, really aware of, coming from a more loving approach, okay, um, and, and, even if you have to step away from a situation for the time being until you're ready to come back in a more loving way, I think that is really important. It could also be um, that you could be, you know, it might be helpful to you to work with others um, to help you actually heal what it is that you need to heal, okay? Um, for some of you, you it, it could be that you may have felt deceived by somebody um, and it's it's very difficult for you to, to open your heart up in a loving sense again. And that will be because of Fucus, that healing still needs to be done. Okay, we have illusion here, embrace the truth. Yeah, there's something that needs to be seen. Okay, and... It could be something that needs to be seen about yourself. Sometimes we can point the finger so much um, that we forget to look at ourselves. Um, and we don't want to look at ourselves because, you know, um, and it, 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 yeah, it can be easier to project onto someone else and be like, yeah, that was because you, because you. And even if there was something in the past that happened that really hurt you, um, yes. Like I said before, yes, that has caused you the pain, um, that circumstance or that situation, but it's still up to you to be honest with yourself about the healing that needs to be done, which is ultimately your responsibility, okay? Doesn't mean they get off the hook. Doesn't mean that, you know, they, um, they don't get held accountable for anything, but continuously punishing someone is actually ultimately punishing yourself. Okay, so illusion. Two cards for illusion, please, for a fucus. It's like drinking poison, right? And we're the only one who gets affected by the poison. We're the ones drinking the poison, not the other person. Okay, so this one's fallen on the floor. Let me pick it up. Okay, so we have the lovers here and the world. Okay, so this could be... I feel like this is an end of a cycle, okay? Whether it's the end of a relationship or not, I, I, I'm not feeling that. I feel like it's more an end of a cycle. When we are honest with ourselves and we embrace the truth, when we turn around and we look at ourselves in the mirror, we see ourselves for who we truly are, okay? Which is not pretty sometimes. And this is what the lovers could very well represent, is you looking at yourself in the mirror, and being completely and utterly truthful. Because that's going to help you to, to go into another cycle. It's not to, for you to beat yourself up and say that, you know, you're a bad person. It's just simply for you to be honest about yourself, okay? If looking in the mirror means that you're going to criticize yourself, it's looking at that part of yourself that you need to change, that you need to dissolve those, that story that you tell yourself, right? So two cards for the second card for a few kids, please. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. The other thing here, Fucus, is something could have happened quite a while ago that's still playing on you, um, whether you're with the person or not. Um, I feel like it could very well still just be going around and around and around in your mind. So this is, these could be the unwanted thoughts that may need to be dissolved. Okay, we have Peacock here, and it says, raise your standards. Raise your standards about what goes on in here. Because ultimately, this is what is creating our entire existence here on this earth right now, right? So two cards for Peacock, please. Raise your standards, if you kiss. Know your worth. That's how we raise our standards, by knowing our worth. Knowing what we will tolerate and what we won't, right? Okay, so. Yeah. Yeah. 
yeah expect nothing less than the best right what is what is your world that you're creating and i know we've been over this quite a few times you know um but that's because it's still but it's not overnight that we create our world you know it's a work in progress right it's something that we need to continuously be working at and looking at you know and maybe there's so much that you've done already here a few kiss and now it's the next um part you know it's a new cycle of this that you're ready to create maybe it is a new relationship that you would like but here's the thing if there's been a relationship which was um toxic and unhealthy that you're still focusing on and maybe even talking about and um, criticizing this other person for what went on, it's impossible to bring someone in who is not the same as that because energy flows where energy is, you know, sorry, energy goes where focus flows. Okay, so we need to put our focus into what it is we do want rather than what it is that we don't want. Okay, and yeah, and look at what we're creating because remember when you're filling, filling up your cup, right? Because one of these cups is your cup here and, and this is in friendships and it's in relationships with your family. It's also in your job. Okay, so when you're filling up your own cup with all this goodness that you want to have in there, that you want to create with your life, you attract the same thing. Okay, we can't fill up this cup with any criticism or negativity at all. We need to be very wary of that. So this is where these thoughts need to be dissolved, okay, so that we are creating something beautiful. Okay, so the next card here is sensuality. Express your sensuality. Oh, and look at this here. She's got this cup here. And look what's flowing out, this beautiful rainbow into the entire existence around her. Right, this is awesome. And this one here, she's lifting up this veil here. So this is about you kind of lifting up the veil, right? And seeing what you can create for yourself, seeing what has been created and potentially your role in that. And I say that with absolute um, caution, I suppose, because I have been in situations too, as some of you may know, that weren't the best and I do look at myself and go how did I contribute to that that's not to say it was my fault it happened but it is to say what were my beliefs to invite that into my life to tolerate that in, in my life where was I at and what do I need to work on to ensure that is not invited in again to ensure that I only get the match for what is in my cup now. And, and, and we really do have to be honest with ourselves because if we want to create a world of, you know, this sensuality, of this beauty, if that's what we want, then it's what we have to live and it is what we have to be. Okay, so two cards for sensuality for a few kiss, please. And there's so many areas that we do this, you know, and when you find that there's something that it's like, oh, did I just say that, you know, and, and the big one for me was criticizing myself all the time, right? Even at the beginning here, you know, checking out the hair and then, you know, it's like, really? Does it matter? Not really. So there's always work that we need to do, but oh, wow, this is huge. Like, this is really life-changing for you here. If you guess doing this work is so important, but that's because you are important. You know, this is, this is about creating this entire new life here that um, you are completely and utterly in charge of. You know, look at the magician here. He's, he's using everything that he's learned along the way to, to put into the cup so that it's sort of like this 
not just a cup, it's like a cauldron almost, you know? What are you going to mix up? And this is the thing, right? Get excited about it. Because what is it that you can create? You know, see the possibilities, see your options, and get excited because believe you me, if you kiss, it is out there for the taking for you. It is right there. You know, what stops us from getting it are the things that we're holding on to, the things that don't serve us. And we do that out of protection, believing that that will protect us somehow from getting into the same thing. But what it does is it holds us back from inviting in what it is we truly want. Okay, so next card here is Reflection. Okay, so two cards for Reflection for a few kiss, please. Two cards for a few kiss for Reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. And this is it. Even if you're in an existing relationship, you know, you, you have a you have a duty and a um a role in that relationship. It does take two. It takes two. Now, here's the thing. You often hear people say it's 50-50 in a relationship. You know, 50%, 50% equals a hundred percent. I disagree. It should be, in my mind anyway, 100%, 100%, right? I, personally for me, I don't want anyone who's going to give me 50%, thank you very much. I want 100 because that's what I bring, right? That is what I bring. And I want the same match for that, you know? Sure, not everyone can give all of that on, on each and every day. That's okay. You know, it's about what is this person doing to grow themselves? What work have they done on themselves? You know, I accept nothing less, okay? And if you're in a partnership and you are doing the work, communicate with your partner to go, hey, I want to work this out. I want us to be, and you know, this is my visualization for this relationship. This is what I want out of it. Are you on board? Will you walk, work this, walk this journey with me? And will you do the work to actually help this to transpire and transform into that? Right? Get ready for your new beginning. And get ready to step into it and create it. Because you have the power to do that. And if there are people who don't want to come along that journey with you, that's okay if you kiss, because you can create it anyway. All right? So, originality. Blaze your own trail. I love it. Yes, this is exactly what I've just been saying, right? Blaze your own trail. You know, while well, you give someone else, the, else their space, and maybe this is space to each do your own healing um, individually, Okay, two cards for originality, for a few kisses, please. Um, then, you know, it could be a matter of coming back together and going, wow, you know, taking accountability for yourself, taking responsibility for your own healing. And, um, yeah, honestly, a few kiss, I'm I feel quite excited for you because this is, it's so possible. And I know it's possible because I've done it, right? I've done it. Okay, so Queen of Swords we have here. Yeah, look at this. This is great. One more card for originality. For a few kiss, please. One more card. Thank you. Mm, yeah. See, look, here's the thing. This is really about you stepping into um, this honesty, um, stepping into the truth, okay? Kind of like... Um, working on the heart but the thoughts are something that is incredibly important for you right now there's um i think i think potentially what could be holding some of you back is the fear of what if i give this person some space and they don't come back or what if you don't want to go back you know and the thing is working on yourself to the point of focus that no matter what happens you know you'll be okay 
you know, and this is, I think is, is um, crucial for you right now because if there's this fear, there's also can be a, um, an element of codependency in that. So I think it's important to be looking at these things uh, to see how that's playing out in your life and if it is and, um, and working on that because, um, yeah, you, you hold the power within in order to, to take on anything that comes your way. doesn't mean to say it will be easy and no sweat and sweet ads. Um, no, not at all. Um, and you will have work to do. We all do. It is never ending. Um, but the strength and the tools that you gather along the way of doing that for yourself will help you deal with anything in the future that does come your way. Okay, so we have children here. Okay, so know that your children are protected. Okay, so, okay, this could be a concern for some of you with the children. Um, hmm, just look at messages that you could be sending to your children. Um, the interaction with your partner, if that's the case for you, and what, um, what, message, what your children may be seeing from the outside. This is something that is... I think is really important to be honest with yourself about what are you teaching them okay the other thing is be mindful that if you're not with the person that who is their father potentially um that you're not criticizing not with the father not with the mother could be too sorry about that um not criticizing that other parent to the children Okay, because that's that's really unhealthy. And if you find yourself doing that, that needs to be stopped immediately. Okay, and find out why you feel the need to do that. Maybe you feel threatened. You know, maybe you feel like your children will go with that parent or whatever. Um, but also, you know, this is your inner child as well, right? Of really taking care of that inner child. Um, because every time you criticise even yourself, it's the inner child that takes the insult. It takes a hit every single time. So this is also something that is this work that needs to happen. So two cards for children for a few kids, please. Too many cards there. We want that over there. Okay, so. No. Two cards. Just two. It's really funny. This there's something that's stuck here. There's this feeling of stuckness. One more card for children. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ah, okay. There could be something that you're not wanting to continue with. So it's important to reflect and really stand in your power and looking at what is it that I want to build? Is it worth carrying on with? And for some of you, you're worried about the impact of on your children if you walk away. But they are always protected. And like I say, be mindful of how you're dealing with them about whatever is going on for you. Okay. And remember also, if you curse, that it is you ultimately that you have to do the work on. Okay. You can't change anyone else um, as much as we might like to, <laughs> you know. And sometimes we can get roped into that and realize that it, it really is about us. Um, it's up, up to other people to, to change. But what I want to say to you is what you deserve, if you kiss, is, is, is the best. The best of the best. Okay, don't settle for anything less. All right, know your worth and know what it is that you deserve. And make sure you stand in that power of receiving that. Um, because when you do, it's going to be, the world is going to stand up and notice, you know. But more importantly, so will you. So, and that is what, what you deserve. Okay, if you kiss, I'm going to leave that with you. I hope that helped. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.